beautiful friends. Rosanna here with Nest of Petals. Thank you so much for joining me today on August 2nd for my second floss tube video. Um, before I get into everything, I first want to thank, I want to thank everyone for subscribing, for watching my last video, my very first video um, of what I've started on this new journey with sharing all of my creations and love for cross stitch. Um, your comments, your kind words. Um, it, it was such a warm and welcoming feeling and I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your love and your support. And again, for all of your beautiful comments. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I also did comment back on everyone that did place a comment loved reading each and every one i did even have a good chuckle um or an lol with some of them so thank you again for being here and having the love of cross stitch just like i do so i have a little agenda for us today um, my video might be a little bit longer because I'm going to be sharing a couple of things that I've done within the last two weeks um, besides cross stitching. So um, one of the things that we did is my mom has a cross stitch store that she goes to visit up in Waynesboro, Virginia. And I went up with her um, probably it was actually two weeks ago, it was maybe shortly after my first video was made, um, and we visited terry at cross stitch station and everything that i talk about today um, if i'm able to link it i will link it she has a facebook page and you can also like order patterns or even fabric for your stitching um, if you give her a phone call and she can order it and mail it to you but i'm going to share a couple of um just short clips of videos that i took while i was there so i'm going to insert those here in a second um, and then I also was able to visit, um, I'm sorry, when I visited, um, two of my subscribers were actually at her store. They are her cousins, um, Jean and Frankie. So I'm going to insert also a photo of the three of us um, next. And that was a delight. It was so nice to actually meet um, two subscribers. They live in Waynesboro, so they're not far from me. I'm actually in Culpeper, Virginia. I realized after the fact, I forgot to mention like where in Virginia I'm at. So I'm in Culpeper, Virginia. Um, we used to be one of the smallest towns and we're not small any longer. We've grown a lot in the last 10 years. Um, so yeah, so check out just a glimpse of her story and you'll see the, again, the picture of Jane Frankie and myself. On the wall, ornaments and everything um, Miss Terry has done. So, um, stay tuned for some more news on, on cross stitch station in the future. Um, the other thing, so me and my mom and my youngest daughter, um, her name is Giselle. We went to Burnside Farms and we saw the enormous sunflower fields and it was stunning. So I've never been to the sunflower fields in the summertime. We typically, me and my um, daughter go and do the tulip um, farm that they do in the springtime. So we went on this new sunflower adventure and I'm gonna share a couple of clips of those just so you guys can see the beauty. If you've never gone to a sunflower field, there, I mean, the sunflowers are taller than me. I'm 5'8". So it was, it was pretty amazing to like walk through the, the mazes um, of the sunflower fields and see these beautiful flowers with all like the honeybees and the bumblebees um, and all of them like filled up with the pollen. Um, so they're really loving life. So take a glimpse of that as well. So now we'll go back to the regular scheduled program of sharing cross stitching. So I have two finishes. They're not fully, well, one's fully finished, so that's FFO, I believe. Um, the other one is a finished piece, and the only thing I need to do is frame. I do have several several frames in my home, so I'm gonna see if I can repurpose 
Um, so the first one, and this was actually a new start for me, if you guys remember on the last video, if you watched it, I talked about not having any smalls. So one of my goals was to start a small for the month of July and actually finish it. So this is the one that I shared with you guys. It is Stacy Nash and it's the Velvet Parsnip Needle Book. And I think I called it a carrot last time. <laughs> but if I would have read the actual like title title, um, I would have noticed it's a parsnip, which makes sense because it's not orange like a carrot would be. So I actually just fully finished this yesterday and I love, love, love how it turned out. If you hear some noise in the background, that's my dog and my kitty cat. <laughs> Um, play fighting. So we, this actually took a, uh, probably like five hours to like fully finish it. Um, my mom did help me with like the cuttings and stuff. And I did the whip stitching on the end for attaching the fabric. Um, I did the, the whip stitch also for attaching this piece of wool um, this piece and then I did the buttonhole stitch around here. <laughs> Lilu's playing with her bow, so I apologize guys. Um, okay, so I did the buttonhole stitch here and then I did the whip stitch here. I'm not sure if I'm loving the whip stitch down here. I feel like it's a little too thick, so I might take that and redo it, but we'll see. Um, and then my needle that is crooked that I use to do the whip stitch. Um, yeah, I make my needles crooked sometimes. So I think it turned out beautifully. So I know in the picture that I shared, it doesn't show like the button snap, um, but that is in the instructions. And we did not use um, the velvet like the instructions had stated to do. Um, we did use a different wool green. So we pretty much used fabric that we had. We recycled and reused versus going out and um, buying new pieces. And I think it turned out beautifully. So here is my needle book, again, Stacy Nash design. And I love it. I think it's so cute. Oh, one other thing. Um, so the body right here and the little tail, um, it asks for, I think it's whisper, whisper thread, which is like um, really thready, fluffy-ish thread um, or floss. Um, I did not have any. So what I did is, and I don't recall the number that I used, but I did just one strand, you know, just one over the two. And then to make it have like a fuller look, the next part I did was two strands over um, over that one, one strand. And I actually think it turned out beautifully. So that's an alternative. If you guys don't have the whisper or you have difficulty using it, cause I did, I have heard, um, how can the stitcher did fully like finish, but she hasn't put her pieces together. I do recall her saying the whisper thread was really difficult to even thread on a needle. So that's another alternative. So that's my fully finished there. And then the other one, my doggie's over here smelling my stuff. <laughs> um, so this one I did on my last floss tube and I fully finished it as well. I just again need to frame it. And it's We Are The Sampler Makers by The Scarlet House. And I did do um, DMC on this. And I just remembered, I did not tell you guys. So I did use DMC floss on this one. And let's see, 40 count R&R &R reproduction. And it's, um, the fabric is blend. And I really, I really liked that one a lot. So Scarlet House is 36 count Liberty Gather Gray and it's R&R reproduction. So this is my, 
completely finish stitch. So if you guys recall from last time, I messed up on this urn and I only noticed it when I did my snowflake. So I took all of this apart, redid it, and then I had to take this apart also because it didn't line up. So I think it's beautiful. I cannot wait to frame it. And this was a super, it was super easy to do, super fun stitch. Um, if I hadn't made that, that pretty error, <laughs> I think the sable stitcher say that if I didn't make a pretty, um, she would have been done like in five days, but it is okay. It's a okay. All right. The next thing, so those are all of my finishes for the month of July. The next thing I'm going to show you guys are progress updates on my works in progress. So my whips and I worked on all of my items I shared with you guys last time with the exception of two. So you will not be seeing, no, I'm sorry, with the exception of three. So you will not be seeing three today. So the first one I'm gonna show you is Plum Street, Plum Street Sampler. This I know. And I am using the Call For DMC. And this is my progress. And excuse my threads hanging over. And on this one, I did 40 count cream Zweigart. And I don't believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, so I apologize. So what I did um, from last time is I pre-filled in here. I added more of the branch and then I did the leaves there. And I did ask on my last video what name I could call the black sheep. And I did have April, one of my new subscribers. So thank you, April, for answering. Um, she recommended Baba Black Sheep, which I thought was amazing. And I don't know why I didn't think of that because it's perfect. So Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? So that will be that little stinker's name right there. And yeah, I love this one. This one's really fun. My mom just got this one framed and it's stunning. It's just like, oh, I'm, I can't wait to like get closer and closer to, to moving that one along. All right, next one I have is Halloween at Hollyberry Farms. And this one is by Stacy Nash. And I did this one on 40 count weeks dye works and the fabric color is Confederate gray. And I did work on this one. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday for the 31st. So this is where I've gotten so far. I started on the gate in the front. Sorry guys. I'm trying to make it where you can see it. And I did one of the blackbirds. So I think what I'm going to do next time I work on it, because I'll be doing this on the 13th, the 30th, and the 31st, if those days are, you know, the last two days are there. I think I'm going to move up here into the next um, flower piece and then maybe start the weeping tree. So I love that when you cross stitch, because when I was little, my mom taught me to start in the middle. And I love that you can pretty much start in the middle, the left, the right, the bottom, any corner that you want. So I love that you have that flexibility, especially if you're like in love with a pattern and there's like one specific spot you just like, I have to start there. So I love that you have that capability. Um, next one is Plum Street Samplers, My Early Days. And this is the one that I also had a pretty on. If you guys remember, I did the butterfly in the wrong color. And this one's on 40 count, picture this plus, and the fabric is Heartland. 
So what I did on this one since our last chat is I fixed the butterfly and I started on one of the weeping trees. So here's the butterfly fixed in the correct color. And then I started down here and I did the, the tree. Let me actually kind of move those out of the way. I think it's looking really beautiful. So I think what I'm going to do next is kind of carry the, the trim down the border. Um, and then I can pretty much start in a lot of, in a lot of different spots. So I could do the little reindeer. I could start the sheep that's down here. So lots of possibilities. So that's where I'm at for my early days. And okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is Every Opening Flower, and I love this one, and it's by Brenda Gervais. And this one reminds me of my home. So we have, my house is very similar style, and we have a weeping willow tree in our backyard. And this one I am working on. 40 count V stitch me, not another sampler fabric. <clears throat> and I actually did a, a good amount on this one. So let's see. So my update from last time is the alphabet letters, um, the flowers. I did all of this, the, le the, the letters, the insides. So yeah, so all of these is new. So that's every opening flower. And where I'm gonna go to next is, I'm gonna go down and start the other border, which is like a flower border, and I'm gonna do the outline of the, the house. All right, now this one, um, I've been doing two strands of it every morning because I'm so close to a finish that I can taste it. I don't know if you guys get that feeling, but when you're so close and you can taste the end of success or your achievement. So, What Remains by Blackbird Designs. And this is my progress. I've done a lot since last time. And this is on Country Mocha, 40 count. And I'm using all DMC. So what I've done since last time is the flower, the leaves, the vase, the A. I started the peacock. I did the trim all all of the trim on the left and the bottom. Um, and I did is love. So I've, I've done a lot. So working two strands a day, it's a huge plus. So this is gonna be my um, two strands a day. My goal is to finish it this month. That's my goal. And I, I truly believe I can do that. Um, Another thing that I've been doing is uh, my mom gave me a book of days. So I've been starting like every day. I'm keeping track of what I'm doing. Um, and then for August, I'm also keeping track. And I know like specific days that I'm going to be focusing on things. So I've already pre-written those. So that's been very helpful. Um, let's see. I'm going to next show you guys some new starts <laughs> and let me count how many new starts I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. So I have six new starts for the month of July. And the first one is Stacy Nash and it's Christmas at Holly Berry Farms. Um, 
you will notice that I love all of her Hollyberry Farms. I, I think they're just beautiful. So this is the one that I started in July. And it was kind of also like a Christmas in July um, that I wanted to do. And this one is 36 counts Edinburgh Country Mocha. And I don't have tons of progress on this one, but I felt like it was a really good start. Um, so this is what I have done so far. And I'm using, um, <clears throat> excuse me, DMC thread. And every piece that I work on is one strand um, over two. The next one, I did talk about this in my last video, is Sweetheart Hill by Plum Street Sampler. So this month of August, the 18th, is my husband and I's anniversary. Um, we will be married for 17 years. We've been together since high school, so 24 years. Um, so this is Sweetheart Hill by Plum Street Sampler. And I'm using all of the called for DMCs. And this one I'm doing 40 count linen weeks dye works and it's on beige. And this is my progress so far. Bear with me guys. <clears throat> now I am going to alter um, the man and the girl just slightly and I'll talk about that once I start it but this is what I got so far I really love um, the flowers the color like how bright and vibrant it is so I know I won't be able to get that completed um, by our anniversary but I think I'm making pretty good progress so far um okay I did start, um, so if you guys remember, when I did my first floss tube, I talked about like me having a schedule of what I'm gonna be focusing on. So the first seven days, um, which will be starting today, <clears throat> I'm not gonna share her today because I didn't make any progress on her. I didn't stitch her at all. Um, so the first seven days, I'm gonna be working on Mary Bars, which is, one of my big um, samplers that I'm working on, and that's from Stacy Nash. So I will be doing that for the first seven days of each month. And then um, three of the Thursdays, so it would be the following week, I will be working on a red sampler. And I will be working on two. I'm gonna share the next one um, on my next video because I'm waiting for like the physical pattern to get here but one of the red samplers, and I've actually, I'm converting it to a red because the pattern is an indigo blue. So what I'm gonna be working on Thursdays is Prairie Girls sampling and it. So I'm doing the bunny, but instead of it doing it in the blue, which is the indigo, I'm gonna be converting it over to a red sampler. So I worked on this one last, Thursday. So this was all I did last Thursday. And I think it's beautiful. I love it. And it's actually not a huge sampler. And you have to pay attention because I did like when I was starting, I messed up like twice. I had to redo it. And I'm doing um, DMC Floss 817. And it's 40 count blend. So this is the same um, linen that I used for my needle book that I finished the bunny on and it's R&R &R reproduction yeah 40 count <laughs> sorry guys my animals um they're in their own little world today so that's gonna be my three Thursdays um, out of the month 
So I'll be doing the bunny the first half, and then the next time I um, do my floss tube video, I'll share with you my other red sampler, and that one's actually a red sampler. Um, okay, so that's what I have going on for that one. I do have another start, and this is Summer Quaker, and it's by Leela Studio. And um, Higgy, Higgy Design, Samantha, she is starting this one like as a stitch along. So if you guys want to join in um, and I'll put the hashtag below so you guys can share on Instagram. But if you want to join, so I'm joining it, joining in on this one. So Summer Quaker. And I just put some stitches in it this morning. And let's see. So I'm doing not another sampler 40 count B stitch me. And this is what I've gotten done so far. And I love, this is the same fabric I did for every opening flower. I love it. And I think it's the perfect color for this Quaker. So I can't wait, cannot wait. So this is where I'm starting. I'm down, I'm down here at the bottom. So the other start that I have is, and I've realized, and you guys will see on my next video that I'm really loving GGR. So this is another start for the month of July. And I actually went with some of the called for colors, guys. I actually got all of them. So it's Gentle Arts and these are the colors. I love like the flowers. They're gonna be beautiful inks. So I'm excited. It's my first time ever getting the Gentle Arts. And for this one, I am doing 40 Count Newcastle and it's Summer Khaki. And I actually have two um, starts on this one. So this is the Red Deer Sampler here. So that's what I've gotten done so far starting on the border. And then I'm gonna insert a photo here because this one is a PDF file. Um, so the other one that I'm doing, and this is at the bottom of the same fabric, which is again, 40 count Newcastle, is um, spring at Hollyberry Farms. So. Sorry guys, I'm trying to fix this for you so you can see it. All right. There we go. I just love the colors. And on this one, there's a beautiful kitty cat here. So I'm going to start that I think next. That's what drew me um, to it. I might tweak up his colors a little um, because I have my kitty cat Fresco. I think I might want to make him look like Fresco. But yeah. So that is my last new start. I do wanna share with you guys a project bag my mother made me. Um, so she is an avid sewer and she made me a Halloween one and I love it. So this is like my first official project bag and she made it to where I can open the zipper um, left because I am a lefty. So something um, that you guys now know about me, I'm a left-hander. So I think it's so cute. You got the little kitty cats, you got the candy corn. 
I'm a candy corn girl. I don't know if you guys like candy corn. Um, and you got the little flowers. I think it's beautiful. And then this is the inside. So, and then the back. So my mom did a great job. So thank you, mom. And I know, so I had tons of comments uh, mention my mom needs to join me on one of my videos. I will say um, she is camera shy. <laughs> so I'm trying to convince her um, to join me one day. So hopefully in the near future, um, but if you guys have any encouraging words for her to join um, in on one of my Floss 2 videos, please place them in comments. I'm going to show um, probably a couple videos from now because my mom has been cross-stitching for a while and she got back into it heavily um, right before um, the pandemic. So she's been collecting and doing finishes. And this past weekend, she actually got um, a lot of her finishes framed. So I will be sharing those with you guys soon. Um, I do have some haul. This isn't everything because I am waiting for some things to come in the mail. Um, and then for the month of August, so actually today, um, I will be starting on this. So if you remember, Sherry at Colorado Stitcher, make sure I'm saying that right. Um, yep, Colorado Cross Stitcher. She is doing the Cross Stitch Camp and I'll put that hashtag below as well. So for the month of August, she has you choose something that you haven't used before. So it could be um, a designer, new fabric, new thread, anything that you haven't done. So I've never stitched anything from heart string. So I'm going to be doing that little mini pillow right there. And I think it's going to be super cute. I actually love um, a lot of these designs in here. So like this bird. I think, I think people are into birds. Like that bird is really cute too. So we'll see. But I'm going to be again, I'm going to be doing a small because I need more smalls. And I might even do the other two that are in here. Um, but these are all three of the flowers. So they're called Old Rose Pin Keeps. And recommended is 32 count. I'm gonna be doing it probably on a 40, maybe 36, we'll see. So that's gonna be my um, cross stitch camp for August. So my next haul is Stacy Nash, <laughs> um, cat and mouse pin keeps and slippers. So I will not be doing the slipper. What, when I first saw it, I love it. So let me show, show it to you first. So what my, my plan is, and we'll see how it actually works out, is I'm thinking of doing the kitty cat and then since it has the flower already there, I'm thinking of putting the mouse that is empty on this side and then the mouse with the flower on this end and just make it like a long skinny mini pillow. Um, I'll be doing it on 40 count linen. I'm not sure which fabric yet, um, but that was my first initial thought because I don't want to do the little slipper. So I'm going to play around and kind of kind of see if that would work, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. And then I have this one is next, and this is going to be Blackbird Design, and it's Crown and Shields. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do it as a red sampler or um, as the colorful one. And I'm not sure when I will actually start this one, but this will be another another soon, sooner than later design. My mom actually finished this in the red. So I'll show that to you guys in another video. Um, but it's stunning. It's so, so pretty. She actually, um, she did that one for um, the cross stitch camp last month. And then going into month of September, I'm pretty sure Lauren at New Hampshire Stitcher is doing um, 
like a big sampler for everyone to stitch along together. So this is the one that I will be doing, but this won't be till September and it's gonna be um, GGR and it's MJ1810 and I am in love. Love this one. I, her, her samplers are so unique. They're so different. Like I, I don't see any others like that. Like the birds and the bird, he's swinging on like a little swing. How cute. So, um, I just, I just got the fabric on this one. I'll share it with you next time, but it's going to be on, I think it's Weeks Dye Work Straw. It's 40 count linen. Um, so I'm going to have a hard time deciding which side, the bottom left or the bottom right, because I want to do one of the birds. I just don't know which bird to start with. So that was, um, my last haul that I'm able to share with you guys at the moment. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is share a couple of other, um, cross stitches that I did when I was younger. So if you guys remember, I started cross stitching when I was seven. Yeah. Um, and I finished this in 95. So I was, um, 12. <laughs> and I will say it doesn't look like I finished the sky, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be now that I'm relooking at it. Um, and I do remember making some pretties on this one, but I just made it work. I don't do that now. Like if I find a pretty, I take it out and I fix it. Um, I don't know who the designer is on this one. So if you guys know, you know, feel free to input it into the comment field. Um, but I really liked Charlotte's Web, so I did, I did the piggy. So that's another one that I finished. And this one cracks me up because it shows, you know, my, my young age. I didn't put what year I finished this one on, but I would assume it was around the same time I finished the pig. I do not have the designer or the pattern name. Um, so if you guys have that, you know, feel free to input it into comments. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think it's too funny. And even though it was a young stitcher, the back actually isn't as horrible as I would think it would be. So that's nice to know. Um, and then, I think that's that's all that I have. So let's see. Next month, well, next two weeks is going to be a pretty pretty busy week. So I have tons to work on, lots of focal pieces, um, some that I'm going to try and finish, which is like what remains. But I'm really really excited. So if you guys have made it to the end of the video, thank you thank you so much for being here. Um, I truly appreciate all your love and support. If you're loving what you're seeing, please tap the subscription box, um, follow along, hit the bell so you get notifications on every time that I post a video on YouTube. And please, if you see something that you like, leave me a comment. I love seeing your guys' feedback, your thoughts, what you're loving, and what you're stitching on. So. Thank you again. Love you guys mucho. Have a fabulous day and happy stitching.